What's this? 47, right? 40. All right. All right, let's go. Welcome to the owner's box. All right. Welcome to the owner's box. We at episode 47. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Yeah. B Price in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Carver Ranch is in the building. Holla at your boy. My man, Seuss. Uh, he ain't here right now. He out there doing some famous shit. But I am Will Walker. I ain't got my signature 40 ounce with me today, but you know, all good. Walker. Yeah, appreciate that. I kind of missed that. What you been up to, B Price? How you doing, man? Cooling, man. Uh, cooling. Word. How was your I, week? It was cool. I got out. I got out of the house actually. Word. I went down a little five points. First time I was there in 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 a long time. No doubt. I ain't been in a minute. Right. So I went to the to the to the uh, spot and got a falafel because I hadn't been there forever. They still there. They still open. I'm Wait, sitting. I'm what sitting spot outside. Is that? What spot is that? It's only one. I don't, I ain't never been. I ain't never been to that spot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're All right, not privy. On. You're not privy to the falafel. No, no, uh, no, I'm not. Little five point madness. I'm not. Um, right next to Variety Playhouse. So anyway, so I'm down there, and I'm sitting there, mm-hmm. and uh, this cat walks by, and then he stands next to me. Okay. And he's just standing there, and he like, what's up, unk? Shot with me. <laughs> I know what all this means, but, you know, let's play stupid. Okay. I say, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you asking me? <laughs> He has a belt in his hand. Uh huh. Some shit I would never wear. The buckle was big and buckly, mm-hmm. stupid. It looked like it had like little studs on it, like rhinestones and shit. Nigga trying to sell you a belt. He's trying to sell me a belt. God damn. His approach was trash. All right. I wanted to let him know that, but I didn't want to get into all that. So I just said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not hip to you kids' lingo. <laughs> What's up, Unk? Shot with me. What do he say? What do he say to that? He said he got. I got this belt, and uh, I said, Nah, I'm good. So he walks off. I'm still sitting there. <laughs> he comes back by later, and he said, Come on, Unk, it matches shoes and everything. <laughs> I said, Nah, I'm good, dog. Yeah, that nigga's approach was trash. It was horrible. That shit would have made me mad. His approach was worse than the belt he was trying to sell me. <laughs> the belt was horrible. Um, so that that was cool. Um, a little throwback going out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, besides that, I just went to work, and uh, and it's funny, the uh, the morale, the morale is low, very very low. Why is that? Management is horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, that ain't nothing new though, right? It's it's been getting worse, and people are getting mm-hmm. tired of that shit. Management is horrible, horrible. On top of them, it's horrible. Uh, like I shouldn't get I shouldn't get uh, text messages from you two times a day every day for a month asking me for overtime. That's not an emergency. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to send me texts in case of emergencies. Fuck your overtime. Mm-hmm. That's not an emergency. <laughs> So they they sent me an emergency the other day where you're supposed to check in. They sent a drill. And uh, so my supervisor's like, yo, did you respond to that drill? Nah, I did not because I did not get it. Because you've bombarded me with 100 text messages about overtime. I stopped paying attention. And I will not pay attention. Everybody else cut their shit off. They cut cut their alerts off. You've abused the situation. So ain't nobody fucking with you no more. Oh, shit. But you know, other than that, you know, trash management, <laughs> trash sales pitches. Uh huh. You know, other than that, my week was a okay, dogs. No doubt. How That's about you? Uh, you know, my week's always boring. I ain't do shit but go to work. Um, and I did that. I will say that's that's a change for me though. At least I went to work every day instead of playing hooky and skipping days. But last weekend, you know, I had some shit going. On. I well. Not some shit going on, but I mean, my daughter had some shit. Um, she had a little dance joint. Um, 
How she do? Dance performance. She did good. Well, no, no, it wasn't a contest. No, 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 no. Yes, this wasn't yes. a contest. It was just a performance. But she did good. She did but real she, good. Her performance as well. Very good. Excellent. Very good. So I went and did that. Um, my in laws were in town, so you know we hung out with them. You know, did a lot of going to dinner, going to lunch. We went bowling. Like real I, bowling? Yeah, bowling, bowling. So we went out there. We was out there. Had our masks on and shit. But everybody then you, else had their masks off. But then you put your fingers in the in the balls. Put my fingers in the balls. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> okay. Yeah. After my fingers healed from jamming them in the box, I put them in the you balls. You put them in the balls. Put them in the balls. Your fingers identify as they them those. <laughs> is that what? It is? Your fingers is they them those. Okay. Yeah. They. they. Yeah. Your fingers. Them. Your fingers go both ways. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Your fingers like the balls in the box. The bowling balls only. <laughs> bowling balls only though. <laughs> But yeah, we went bowling. You know, I, I realized how how uh, how shitty I am. I see I've gotten shittier in bowling over time. Were you good at one point? I wasn't really. I was average at one point, and I just got worse and worse. So, were you really average? Probably below average. What was your highest score? Um, I don't even know. Yeah. So I guess that that's pretty shitty. If I don't know, if you were good, you would know. Be like, <laughs> nigga, that one time I almost bowled a three hundred, and then you'd be like, yeah. But I just be rolling that shit. Niggas man. probably had like sixties. I just roll that shit and go back and get my drink. What'd you get this time? What my score? Yeah. I don't know. I ain't pay attention to it. Yeah. Below average. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you uh get the shoes too? Yeah, I got the shoes, yep. So niggas is out here with shoes, random balls. <laughs> <laughs> But you had your mask on. Hey, yeah, man. You know that's all that matters, dog. You know. Did you? Did y'all have snacks? Yeah, we had some food. Had some food. Y'all too. Had pizzas yep. and shit. Yep, had a pizza. Yeah. Yep. So after you stuck your fingers in the balls, <laughs> did you grab you a slice? No, the pizza was for the kids. Mm. The kids had to. Well, after well, they stuck okay. their fingers in the ball. Okay, wait. Um, <laughs> wait. What did I have? Okay, yeah, because I had some wings, so I ate wings. I did. After you took your fingers out the ball. After I took my finger out the bo- out the bowling ball. Out the ball. See how we are? See how we are? Hey, man. We just ain't. You, you think you're being safe because you got a mask on. But you out here. You know what? I don't even know if wearing a mask is, is, is to be safe anymore. I think I think people just wear a mask for, like, attitude. Like you, Michael Jackson? You, you see what I'm saying? Like, like. Like the Asians, they do it for attitude. No, they just they they did it because they don't like germs. Oh, yeah. I mean, but I don't really because that was the norm for them. You would see them, and they'd have masks on. They'd be on the on the train. True, that's true. Yeah, that's true. They'd be on the train with a mask on and all that. That's true. Michael Jackson was out in the streets. Mask. Yeah, he, yeah, he had. I don't know what was up with him though. He had something else. He didn't like germs. <laughs> But he had a very weak immune system. Where you getting this information from? That's 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 what I always heard. Why he wore a mask? I never heard. He, it. he didn't like germs because he had a very weak immune system. No, you ain't heard that. This your lie. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me to ride with you. I don't. I never all heard right, that. No, well, all right, all right. Yeah, I heard that. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, and that's what I always believed. Where you heard? But that I, at? but I completely forgot about that. Where you heard that at? Um. That's just what people were always saying back back then. Them, they? Yeah. That's what's they. up. They do them be saying they. some stuff. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. You hear it? So with the mask, you got uh I don't want to make up stats. Mhm. I don't know what percentage of the people um have gotten vaccinated. Mm-hmm. But these motherfuckers feeling privileged out here. Oh hell yeah! They've they been waiting privileged. on this. So they've been waiting on this. That's causing a thing. The vaccine plus the the CDC saying you can raw dog the air if you got the vaccine. Got niggas feeling real privileged, but you can't feel real privileged everywhere. Everywhere is not feeling like you. One of those places being the airport. Okay. Still federal mandate to wear your mask mm. in the airport. 
I'm not I'm I'm not on the floor usually. I don't deal with people. I'm cool with them. I'm I'm cool with dealing with them. Word. But uh everybody was in panic mode. Oh, we're gonna be so busy. Oh, we need everybody out here. Was it busy? No. <laughs> it was regular shit. So I'm out there and this cat comes up and he uh has no mask on. Mm-hmm. They like, yo, you gotta put your mask on to come through it. You're a but a passenger? Yes. Mm-hmm. You gotta put your mask on to come through it. But he says, uh, I can't remember if he said he's vaccinated. I can't remember, but he said he had a medical issue or some shit. I'm sorry to hear that's, that. That's the go-to excuse right there. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. But you got to wear your mask. <laughs> Who was telling him this? Was you telling him that? I'm not talking to him at this point. Everybody's telling him this. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I know I have to put it on when I get there, but I didn't think I had to wear it through here. So you're not going to have this medical issue once you get on the plane is what you're saying. I need you to put your mask on, sir. He finally puts it on. <laughs> he comes through and then he's talking to one, one of the uh, one of the young ladies. What do I need to do to not wear this mask? And, that, and she was like, yo, you know, you can do this and this. Maybe come with a doctor's note or something, but you still got to wear your mask. Mm-hmm. And he says, you guys are violating my HIPAA. This is where I step in, sir. This has nothing to do with HIPAA. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to get it together. This has nothing to do with HIPAA. Thank you. Thank you for uh what he said. Thank you for making fun of my my medical issue. <laughs> I said, word. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. He keeps going. <laughs> I escalate my octave a bit. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> hit him with the hit him, hit him with the Willy Wonka. <laughs> good day, sir. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. Good day. You should have told him, pipe down, <laughs> pipe down. I should have told him, pipe. But no, I think, I think on the real though, I think Buddy was recording me and he probably put that shit on YouTube or something somewhere. But I'm cool with that because I had, I masked up. I had, to, I had my hair covered. I masked up. You can, if I turn to the side, you see my hair, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's that's probably, yeah, that's price right there. Wait, did he, did he have, um, he had his phone up? He said some slick shit when he walked away. Like, yeah, I got it. Or some shit, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah," but I don't really care. I just didn't have a nice. I, I didn't even say have a nice. Oh, day. shit. good day, sir. Good day. Hit him with the Gene Wilder. He wasn't ready for that, boy. <laughs> and then he got moving. Oh, so shit. with that, people feeling all extra. Niggas is fighting at the airport every week. Nigga was on the plane the other day trying to fight. Said he was gonna take the plane down. Oh shit! Hell yeah! I think he might have been on something. That mo- yeah, I heard about that dude. Um, he was a, a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant off duty. Uh, got on the Delta. He was a Delta employee. Got on the plane. Uh, I think they was they was going from L.A. to Atlanta. And I, I, he had, he had to have some issues. That dude had some kind of mental issues or something, or maybe management was just fucking with him too. No. Maybe he had problems with management. I, I mean, he may have had problems with management, but I think he had issues. Yeah. And you know why I think he had issues? Why is that? This nigga had on a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> With knee pads and arm pads. Oh, he shit. He had that... elbow pads, knee pads, and a helmet. That nigga came ready for the smoke. Yeah, you know I mean? That nigga was ready for the smoke. And, they, and the nigga sat there like it was all gravy. Your man sitting next to him felt uncomfortable. Oh, he kept asking me questions and I didn't feel comfortable. Nah, dog. You're not getting mm. on no plane with no goddamn helmet. Knee pads and arm pads. This, what was that dude's name? Stefan Stefan Jamar Duncan. That nigga was that that nigga was black. Who was that? That's his name. That's his name. Stefan Jamar Duncan. This is what you doing? That nigga was black. What 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 we're supposed to do? If if that is his name, and in fact he was black, we are omitting that. <laughs> <laughs> that is. But, that is not a part of what we're talking but, about. But see, I thought to mention that because I know that he was subdued, and I know that a lot of um, they, from what I read, um, a lot of the passengers jumped in to help. They love to do that shit when it's a black dude. I bet it was a whole bunch of. I bet it was some white dudes, some some little muscle head white dudes. They got free licks. That jumped in. They got free licks. Well, I mean, he gave him the perfect opportunity. 
But it was so now they now they now they gonna be looking at some heroes for doing what they wanted to do anyway. They did because it was like, yo, we need all able bodied men to come to the front of the airport right now, air, airplane right now. We need your help. That nigga said everybody, every man on the plane got up. It but he is. said he was at the back. He couldn't even get he couldn't even get close. It everybody is. got up. Pounding him. And they held him down. <laughs> <laughs> held him down until they got to Oklahoma. Oklahoma City, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But Damn. He did not get hurt. You know why? Because the nigga on the helmet. <laughs> nigga on the helmet and knee pads. Blocking that shit, nigga. The fucking superhero. That nigga was ready. Yo, if a nigga get on a plane next to me with a helmet on, knee pads and arm nigga, pads. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm not sitting there with you, dog. That shit is ridiculous. Nah. Yeah. What about I I heard something about a cruise too. I think it was a cruise. Um what was it? No, Roy, the cruise Roy I, I, Yeah, they they um they it was a fully vaccinated cruise though. Yes. Fully vaccinated cruise. So I'm pretty sure everybody came on without their masks. Of course. Fully vaxxed, bro. Fully vaccinated. Staff and everything. Fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated. Bro. But two passengers tested positive. I but it's that. important to state that those two passengers were in the same room together. Mm-hmm. And they were isolated and watched. But the fact that they still tested positive. They tested positive. Fully vaxxed. After bro. being vaxxed. Yes. Fully vaxxed, bro. What does that tell you? That doesn't tell me anything. I have no comment on the situation. Yeah. You got a comment on the situation? No. I ain't, yeah, I ain't fucking with the vaccine. Why not? Apparently, it don't matter. They ain't finna put they poison me with they shit. A test a test a uh, uh, experiment with me, but they didn't die. I, but did you die though? No, they didn't die. But shit, they wouldn't find out. I mean, they ain't gonna find out till it's too late. You know what the crazy shit is about that? What's that? You don't get no days off work either because you're fully vaxxed, bro. Damn, Take it back. <laughs> yep. See, damn, I ain't think about that. Good. You point. don't get no days off work. Nah, nigga, you good. You 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 told us you vaccinated. Wait, but so so if you don't if you if you choose to not get vaccinated and you and you get sick, mm-hmm. they'll still give you your days off. I know, I know where where I am employed. They're trying very heavy to not give anybody mm-hmm. anything for anything, but it's like you got to prove you were at work when you when you caught it. Yes, and right. it's like how can I prove that? How am I how am I going about proving this? Yeah, you know I mean. So it's like if I if I get it and then I say, hey, you know, I'm sick. I test it positive, whatever. Niggas be like, eh, well, okay, you gotta use your own time. We don't know that you got that at work. Now, if we are at work and I'm sick and then you are around me, you can get time off. Because mm-hmm. you were around me at work. Unless you're fully vaxxed, bro. So how about this? So if you're not vaccinated, then you get time off. If you're not vaccinated and you're around someone who has COVID and you get time off, right? Correct. And then you come back to work and then you're around someone else who has COVID. Again, it's, it's do you still same, get off? It's the same thing. Why so you just keep getting days off? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. No, yeah. that's not as dope. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm that's just. Not, that's not dope. You, to get days off? They paid, right? You're only looking at one side of it, but okay, yeah. <laughs> days off are dope, yes. Paid days off are dope. Yeah, definitely. But it was niggas that, see how you just had that moment? Niggas like you had that moment months ago. Mm-hmm. And those was the nigga that missed so many days of work. It was like, how come every time somebody come up positive, you was by him? You was there. <laughs> I'm everywhere. You so this, never there. So this nigga gonna get sick and get fired. Now nah, he gonna get sick and get fired. He just gonna <clears> keep getting time more because he was there. He was there when niggas got sick. All right. Mm-hmm. What else going on out there in the world? I don't know. What you got for me? Oh, I see. Uh, I see your man, uh, Kasim Reed. Trying to get back in the race. He's trying to get back to be mayor again. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Keisha, I think, I think, um, I mean, not that it affects me. I mean, because I'm in Cobb County, but um, 
Who is I'm, your Who is your mayor? In Kennesaw, it's a uh, uh, Derek Easterling. Mm. Sounds like a white man. He is a white man. I know him too. Do you? Yeah, very nice you, guy. How do you know him? He's all. He was. Um. He's also a uh, a Cobb County school teacher. He's still teaching. He's still teaching. High school? No. Uh. Middle school. The mayor. The mayor is a school teacher. Is a middle school teacher. I don't know how none of this shit works. I was surprised. Like, how the fuck is he the mayor and he a teacher? And he's still teaching. He's a teacher. Is that? Can he do that? I have no idea. I mean, he. I guess he can do it until he get caught. If he can't, I don't know. There's no getting caught. How would niggas not know who hey, he is? Look, I have no. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about how none of that shit works. And he owns guns. But, but I knew him. He owns guns. Yeah, yeah, he does. I know he does because he lives in Kennesaw. Right. He probably owns a bunch of them. I'm pretty sure he does. He's ex-military too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He probably got a whole bunch of them. I'm never moving to Kennesaw. But he, um, he. I mean, I met him before he became mayor, and I remember when he told me, like, I'm about to run for mayor, y'all vote for me. I was like, all right, cool. And you voted and, for him? Mm-hmm, and he got it. What was his platform? What was he running on? Nah, I don't know. He was just cool. You just voted for the nigga because he was cool? Yeah, but <laughs> I just voted for him because he was cool. Yeah, he was cool. Nice guy, cool. So, all right, yeah, cool. How long you been mayor? Uh, Damn, I don't know. It's been a couple years, though, now. So he been in there long enough to fuck shit up. Yeah, I guess so. He he was in the news one time. He got in trouble. He um he got in trouble in the news. He was a, I think it was a Halloween party or some shit. And I think for he, kids. Yeah, it was a Halloween party. Mm. Um, kids were there too, mm. and he dressed up as a woman. Okay. And so I'm mean, not saying he got in trouble, but I mean he was in the news. They were like he got a lot of criticism in the news. And what kind of woman did he dress up as? Uh, Did he dress up as Medea, or was he out here with his titties out? No, no, yeah, it was it was like some Medea shit. He had on like a dress, he had on makeup, all kind of shit like that. I don't, I don't even know. But what? Why was he doing it? I don't know. He's he's a, he's a funny dude. I mean, he tries to be funny. Is he? I think he was. Was trying he to be making funny. fun of women? No. You sure? Yeah. This nigga sounds problematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, not according to me, but according to, to <laughs> today's standards, yes, he does. Yeah, clean that up. He's a cool dude. I mean, he's, he seems like a cool dude, but, you know, I mean, you really can't do a whole – it's a whole lot of shit you really can't get away with these days. So you voted for this nigga because he seemed cool. Yep. Yeah. I'm with it. Yeah, I did. I'm not. I'm not with it. <laughs> but, yeah, Kasim Reed, man. All right, Kasim, well, we had talked about this before, of course, because uh, what's her name? Keisha. Mm-hmm. Keisha Lance Bottoms. Right. I don't know her, so let me say her whole shit, like a Tribe Called Quest. Keisha Lance Bottoms came out and said, hey, I'm not running anymore. Floodgates have opened. Your boy mm-hmm. had time, and he was like, you know what? I'm going to run for mayor again. Like niggas forgot when his cousin – Burn the bridge down <laughs> and, and burn half of 85. That was his cousin? That nigga looked like his twin. That nigga does look like his they twin. Were, they were related. <laughs> they were related. His cousin burned the bridge down and niggas couldn't take 85 for months. And I remember that nigga had, um, he had like a shitload of, I think he gave like a bunch of his, his people's jobs at the airport too, he, didn't he? He gave niggas contracts, uh, contracts some yep. for, for restaurants to open. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And niggas, because Ludacris got in there and all. How Ludacris get a restaurant in the... Hey. What Ludacris at? Chicken and beer. I did not know that. Yeah, and it's still open. Well, I think it's still open. A lot of shit ain't open yeah. in the airport. Guess y'all can tell I don't go nowhere. But he had Ludacris, because before that, he had the joint over on uh, Juniper. I can't remember the name of it, but it was over there by where Esso's used to be. Okay. And uh, and that closed now. That shut down. I think uh, T.I. had a joint over there, too. Le- no, nine... Two five or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So anyway, it shut down. Oh, that his Ti shit shut down too. All them shit shut down. Damn. Ludacris shit shut down, and uh, then he got the contract at the airport. Okay. Nigga, that's that's built in customers. Nigga, he's like prisoners. You gonna you gonna eat this or you gonna eat nothing? Mm. I mean, you have many choices, but you right next. Your gate is right here. You might as well get some of this chicken and beer. 
bars. Yeah, he a hey, he got bars. some he got some mixed reviews. I mean, he got a lot of negative reviews. I mean, from his 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 uh his reign was from like what twenty ten to twenty eighteen. <laughs> this nigga said his reign his reign his reign on the top was short like leprechaun. <laughs> 2010 to 2018, and he got some mixed reviews. I know a lot of people was criticizing for some of the shit he did, he, saying he was corrupt. He, he got very much mixed I reviews, got I'm sure. But I don't know who else. Did you know? Did you see who else is running, though? No, I didn't. That's what I want to see. I did. I want to see how much how much you're going to split the vote up and, um, and, and give, these, uh, give this white woman a chance to, to, to win. I can't remember her name, but she ran last time. She ran against Keisha. And then she had to run off all the... Yep. They're, oh, it's, oh, I should have won in this. Wait, she ran against Kareem too, didn't she? She ran against she ran all against, of them. She ran against Kareem, then she came back She's and ran against been Keisha. Lost this is her time. We talked about it. Nigga, the gentrification of Atlanta will be complete after after Keisha lands bottoms is done, and their predecessor steps in, 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 in her, in her, and the next person steps in. The gentrification of Atlanta will be complete. It's like nigga, it's this. It's, it's like they formed uh, <laughs> what's the shit with all the the, the constructor cons, nigga? Being Devastator. Like, Devastator. Devastator. Mm. Transformed. It's over. Damn. It's over. Hey, you can blame um, you can you can add some of the blame or the majority of the blame to uh, uh, Biden and Harris because they the ones who got um, Keisha up out of there. They got they wanted her. They gave her a four year uh. A four year what four year tenure at a four year job at um doing what was it what is it she doing? She's a uh, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Hit him with the with the what the fuck the is Nate dog. Called? Yeah, yeah, because I, I just read that shit, so I wrote it down because I couldn't remember what it was. Wait a minute, so they gave her a job already? Yeah. This is Yeah, news. that's that's why she I think that's why she quit. This is news to that's me. That's why she said she wasn't gonna run. But she didn't take the vice president job. But she's she the vice job. she's the vice chair of Civic engagement and voter participation for the United States mm-hmm. or for Georgia for the United States. She already took this job, or that's the job she hasn't waiting. I, I assume she took it because the way I read it sounds like they just she she they just told her that's what she's doing. She can't do both of them. They said well, she they, she might be able to do both of them. She you, doing it for four years, teaching class and running the city. Hey. I don't know how the government works. Maybe that's why a lot of shit be fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I don't know. But I thought that was dope though to hear the um Kasim was Reed. I thought I mean, Kasim Reed was running. I thought it was You thought that was dope? N- not dope because I support him. I, I don't I don't know if I do or not. I mean, not that it really matters to uh, me or no, not. I mean, it seems I'm just saying I thought it was dope because he seemed he seemed like he seemed gangster. He <laughs> He seemed kind of gangster. I don't know if gangster is a term that I want to use for my mayor, but <laughs> <laughs> but he 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 seems to have the backing, <laughs> the backing of the young entrepreneurial aspect of the city. No doubt, he seems to have the backing. But again, like I said, I want to know who is running against him. Who else is? Well, in you the know running? that one lady. You know that you you already know. I can't remember her name. Either, I can't remember her already name. Know, you yeah. already know she running. She coming. She running. She's coming. But hey, we'll see what you do, Kareem. I'm watching. That nigga name is not Kareem. Oh, what it? What? Kasim, my bad. This nigga. My bad. <laughs> Kasim. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Kasim. My bad, Kareem. Kasim. So you might as well. If, <laughs> now, now, if you had Kasim running, and then <laughs> Shirley Franklin came in and ran against him, uh huh, and then Bill Campbell. What okay. if these three were on the ticket? Mm. All of them had their thing. Mm-hmm. I think I think Bill Campbell actually even went to jail. Damn. Behind man. his shit. Shirley Franklin had her shit and then uh I think her her son or her son-in-law was uh, was hooked up with the BMF shit. Kasim out here. Oh, her son-in-law's with BMF. Damn, I didn't say that. I said he was involved somehow. <laughs> Didn't say he was he was affiliated. Didn't say I'm that. I'm voting Shirley Franklin. <laughs> Shirley Franklin. Why? Hey, BMF. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't live in Atlanta, so it don't matter, man. Wherever you live is not where I'm living. I need you to, to learn how to vote. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. 
you vote for the white man because he cool, Shirley Franklin because yeah. her son. Was, hey, I voted for President Obama because he was black. I, I give you pass on that. I'm with that. Okay, I give you pass on that. Give you a high five on that. One of those Obama fist bumps on that one. <laughs> I give you all that for that one. But the cool white man, no, huh? Is he cool? I mean, he seemed cool to me. Mm. I don't know about your judge of character. Yeah, I mean, when I got you know when he um when I when he became mayor, I think he he, he became mayor in 2016. 2016, because that's when I lost my job. Mm-hmm. Was it his fault? No, but I sent him an email. I was like, yo, I need a job. I know you mayor now. <laughs> Maybe you can help me out. That's when I that's when I got laid off. And what happened? He never replied. The cool white, <laughs> the cool white man, the cool white man didn't reply to he you, brother. He never replied. But then I got it. But then I got a job, and a couple months later, I saw him again, and he just he was still as cool, but he acted like he ain't never get the email. So I just let the shit go. You ain't check him on it. Nah, I didn't. I ain't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that brings back memories. Yeah, that was a fucked up time. That was a fucked up feeling, man. That was a fucked up feeling. You emailed the mayor. I emailed the mayor. Hey, cool white man. Um, got his personal email address. Got his got his phone number. All that shit. You which 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 one you hit him on it? You hit him on his personal John? I hit him on his personal email. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's his problem. personal email? No, no, no. Maybe we shouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> is it his name? I'm, I'm about to look at my phone. Was it his name? Uh, I th- his name is. I think his name is in it. Yeah, his name is in it. Yes. Or was it like? Big booty bitches no, at no, Gmail. No no, 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 no. Yo, what if his email was like big booty bitches at Gmail? Would he still be cool? Nah, that'd be fucked up. Whatever, man. This nigga had a party for kids and dressed up like a woman. He didn't throw the party. I mean, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's even worse. I can understand if you felt comfortable. You were at your home. Hey, you wanted to. You wanted to put on a dress. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. I know we um we talked about what we did during the week and last weekend and all that shit. But yeah. um, did you see that fight? That uh that Mayweather Logan Paul fight? I did. What you think about <clears> it? <throat> when you say the fight, you gotta be specific because I, I you might have been talking about uh Carter and and Lamar Odom, which was a great bout. Wait a minute, but that was that wasn't last weekend, was it? That was the other day. Yeah, yeah. He was trash. It was I, I saw a little clip of that shit. I saw there was no clip to see except the white boy getting knocked out. I saw the white boy just throwing a whole bunch of shots and Lamar Odom just he standing there eating that shit. Yeah. Eating that Nigga, shit. it was like a foot <laughs> of a height difference. That was the most ridiculous shit ever. That is. But I was waiting for what I didn't see is any results on the fight with Peter Guns and the other cat. Peter Guns. I wait. I think I heard something about Peter Guns fighting somebody, but who was it? They were supposed to fight the same guy. This one of them cats from Love and Hip Hop. I can't remember his name. Um, I can't remember. I didn't know that. I didn't know that shit was happening for real. Yeah, that was supposed to happen the same night, but I saw nothing about that. Damn, I'm finna look that shit up now. <laughs> I'm about to look that shit up. But with your boy uh, Logan Paul and uh, Mayweather, Mayweather uh huh. I saw it. First two rounds. First two rounds, Mayweather. Comes out, <clears throat> feeling him out, mm-hmm. feeling him out, as he's supposed to, because mm-hmm. Buddy is taller, he's bigger, the reach is crazy, so he's feeling him out. Third round, this nigga starts boxing, and I'm impressed. I'm By like, Logan Paul? No, fuck. Mayweather. Okay, fuck is wrong with you? By Logan no, I'm saying Paul. because when you said when you say boxing, I think at the start of the fight, um, from some of the clips I conjured up. Um, Logan Paul came out there like just blasting away. He was throwing just he was just throwing every fucking he, he thing. He was just throwing hands. That was round one, though. I think right? he was throwing his hands, just throwing and hitting shit. nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did hit. He did hit Floyd a couple times. I saw that, but the other shit, he was just throwing his hands. And Floyd's just nah, yeah, that's what we doing. Mm-hmm. But after the second round, round three, Floyd started boxing, mm-hmm. hitting him, ding, 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 showing him, nigga, this is boxing. This is what it's right, about. Right, and he was he was aggressive. He was on the offensive, mm-hmm. and I appreciated that because okay. you don't see that a lot from Floyd. I appreciate that too. You don't you don't see that a lot from Floyd, and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So he was he was still him. He 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 showed him what boxing was about. Hopefully, mm-hmm. 
After that, all he started doing was laying on him. I saw that. That's all he was doing. A whole bunch of hugging. That's all he was doing. He was laying on him. He got the he got the size whole advantage. Whole bunch of slow dancing. He I got saw the that. height advantage. He's just laying on him. So he didn't care about winning. There was no care about winning from him. All this white boy wanted to do get that motherfucking paycheck. He was gonna get the paycheck anyway. These niggas got paper. Mm-hmm. All he wanted to do was get through the fight to say, "Oh, I went eight rounds with the greatest of all time. Oh, I almost beat him. I'm the best." His Fighting brother, survive, his yeah. brothers out there wild. Oh, he beat him fifty and one. And they're just they're doing what they do, yeah. being assholes. Mm-hmm. Floyd boxed him up, and then after the fight, niggas was like, they showing the clip where it looked like he got knocked out and he was I holding. Saw that. Him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I saw that. But yo, Floyd dusted him off real quick. But buddy, buddy didn't care about no fight. He didn't care about no fight. He didn't care about winning no fight. All he wanted to do was go to eight. Word. So yeah, I saw it. But it was some real boxing matches on the undercard though. From from I mean I knew Badu. Badu Jack. Yep. Yeah. I, I didn't. Just, I didn't see it. Though. I just remember his name because his name was Badu. I knew he was gonna that, and that's my man. I I I, I fucks with Badu Jack. Yeah. And um. The original fight that he it was the original fight that he was scheduled to have was a rematch, and that was gonna be a good ass fight. But the dude tested, that was tested positive for some shit. tested positive for some shit. So for, he ended up fighting somebody else. Tested positive for heroin. I ain't seen nah. <laughs> <laughs> heroin and a cocaine mixture. But I ain't I ain't see the shit, so it I don't know. I don't it know how to fight. Heroin and cocaine mixture. No, no, what was man, it? No. Uh, Fentanyl. It was a whole bunch of other shit that you ain't never heard of. Aspirin. That might have been one of them. I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't either. I don't know what it was. But he tested positive for a whole bunch of shit. Pink unicorn. couldn't fight. What you think about that? <laughs> we talked about that last Yeah, y'all week. did. Y'all did. You said that shit ain't had no kind of ingredients and no shit. I don't know. That nigga tested positive for pink unicorn. Hmm. You, you, I might buy some shit. I, I think I might buy. It. I might buy some. Just see that. See how that shit go down. Oh shit! Now we had a, we had a thing on the table. It was a little canister. You bought it? No, Zeus had it for somebody. He bought it for somebody. <laughs> I don't know who he gave it to. He said he posted experiment. I didn't hear nothing about nobody dying this oh, week. Oh so. shit! Okay, yeah, somebody gonna die. So we gotta see what's up. I ain't fucking with it. But yeah, with that fight, um, I was I was. I was cool with with what I saw from Floyd. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I didn't expect, I didn't expect the knockout. Did not expect that. Right. The size advantage, the height advantage, the fact that I ain't seen Floyd knock nobody out in the last sixteen years. Mm-hmm. Didn't expect the knockout at all. Of course not. Yeah. All right, Mayweather, you got your money. Logan Paul, you got your money. I was thinking they was gonna try to set it up so um, Mayweather can fight his brother, so he can get some money too. But nah, you know who knows? Nah, I don't know. Now nah you're doing too much. Whatever, I don't care. Right off into the sunset. I don't care nothing about that. But anyway, um, you hear about that dude? Um, it's an Asian dude. Okay, hold up. Before I go, on, before I go into that, <laughs> since up? I started out by saying it's an Asian dude, uh-huh. um, just a random comment. This shit ain't got no, this ain't attached to no, nothing we talking about. I just wanted to get something off my chest real quick. Okay. All the people out there, man, who say stop Asian hate, all lives matter, blue lives matter, fuck y'all. That's all I want to say. I just want to get that out of there real quick. Um. So anyway. Oh, it, that, that's it. That's all I want. I just want to throw that out there real quick. Let everybody know where I stand. The end. Is that problematic? <laughs> nah. It's, oh, yeah. That's where you stand. I got you, my nigga. So, anyway. In Michigan, uh, Ryan Lewin, he's an Asian man who apparently he shot, uh, I think it's a six-year-old? Six. A six-year-old kid. Six. Six. So, from what I've been hearing, um, from what I've been reading – um, he's been, he claims to have been having problems with, you know, uh, I guess kid people being in his yard, kids being in his yard. Not that that's an excuse or a reason. Yes. The youngster, uh, I want to say the youngster may have had his bike in his yard. His bike was in his yard. So on more than one occasion. Right. So in this, in this case, 
uh, he went um, and and the, and and I'm speaking of the six year old kid. Um, what was his name? Uh, his name is Kobe Daniel. Mm-hmm. Six year old Kobe Daniel. He Kobe. Went, he went back to get his bike out of the guy's yard. So as soon as he stepped into the guy's yard to grab his bike, the dude start firing. Boom! Shot the kid. Right. Kid shot shot the kid in the arm. Um. Dude went to jail. Shorty, shorty, she shot him in the arm and then he ran out of the yard. Like, ran yeah, out the yeah. yard. Ran out the yard. Yeah. Trooper. He ain't lay down though. He ain't lay down. He ain't lay down crying. That motherfucker took off running. He was screaming, but he ran. <laughs> Anybody will scream. But that motherfucker took off running. He stayed on his feet. Indeed. So shout out to him. He a trooper. But this dude, you know, he gets he gets arrested. He's apprehended. He's arrested. Um, and he gets a weak ass ten thousand dollar bond. Yes. That motherfucker posted it up and was out. Out of there. He was chilling. Gone. Um, well. It was one cat. I wish I wish I could remember his IG off top right now. But uh, he came down from uh, Detroit mm-hmm. to, 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 to rally up and to help however he could. Okay. <clears throat> so he was he was behind behind a lot of that, too, when he came down to help him. And uh, to display the outrage. Of a ten thousand ten thousand dollar bond for an Word. attempted murder charge, right, on a child, right, yes. Ooh. What the fuck was the judge thinking anyway? But that's a whole other story. It is. He got out on ten thousand dollars bond. Indeed. Well, apparently, from all the outrage that 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 has been displayed and dished out, um, he's now apprehended again. He's in jail. And yeah, now his bond has judge. been his bond has been raised to one hundred thousand from a different judge, right? Yeah. From a different judge. Uh, I, I, I mean, I put it out there, but I don't even know what to say about that shit. I think that's ridiculous. Um, I, I want to look into this judge who gave him the ten thousand dollar bond to begin with. Um, why? He's a white guy who's a judge, right? That's, That's it. it. That's all I know. You know That's what? all I need to know. You're right. It goes back. It goes back. You're right. And, uh, You're right. Shame on me because I can't remember. The, I can't remember a name right now. And I got a name on on the tip of my tongue, but I don't want to be wrong. Back in back in the '80s and <clears throat> early '90s in uh in L.A. Mm-hmm. Young lady shot in the head in the grocery store by the Korean lady over a bottle of orange juice. Oh, this lady got probation. She killed. She killed a young girl in the convenience store. Bottle of orange juice. Probation. That's what she got. Mm. Same thing. Same thing. We going. We we going round and round. We going round and round. You got. You got Joe Biden signing over bills for for Asians to get this and that. Signing over bills for 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 Native Americans to get this and that. Mm. That motherfucking. Black Black Lives Bill still sitting there, mm. under 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 uh, the dashikis the niggas was wearing in the in the courtroom. Bill still sitting there. That can't get done. That can't get no work. Everything mm. else can get that work. Bills for the black people. On oh, we got to think about it. We got to process and we got right word. That's like you standing there. You have been standing at the club, and you at the front of the line. And they just let mad niggas in around you. And you get that hand. <laughs> get that hand. You just got to wait. Nigga, you see me standing right here? Mm-mm. I got more important people. I got VIPs over here. I got regulars. You stand there. And that's why if I ever go to any event, I make sure I go with either you or Seuss. Nigga, we not talking about events. We talking about black people being Just want to throw out. that out there. Because <laughs> I know that feeling, I want to throw that out there. But yeah, no I doubt. mean, you should know the feeling. It's right now. You're feeling it right now. Yeah, this is what's happening right now. Yeah. Hey. Well, the dude is in jail. Not that that's a, not that that's a, 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 a consolation prize, but he's in jail as he should be. Hundred thousand dollar bond. We'll see what he works out with that. That nigga be out next week. 
I'm sure somebody will get him out. Some of his peoples. He'll be out next week. At that restaurant. Wait, does he own the, he don't own the restaurant? He just I think his family right? his family owns the restaurant, and um, you know that's what I was seeing on social media, and they was telling people like, "Yo, don't fuck with them." Mm-hmm. It was in Michigan. Somebody gonna hook him up. And but, any, and even that, and even that, somebody's gonna hook him up. It's, it's, it's even that. At this point, they can do a GoFundMe, and and you got a and you got a uh, community and a culture that would probably back and give money. Right. Even though this motherfucker is dead wrong. He shot at a, a six-year-old child through a window from his home over a bicycle. But if this nigga put a GoFundMe out tomorrow, they they put in. Hey. Because he's Asian and he's black. And it don't matter what happened here, we're going to back what happened here. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing that us as the black community need to understand and kind of rally behind, but that's that's a thing that doesn't happen. I, mean, I know we've talked about this before, but I just want to say it again real quick. We need to get it together. Need some solidarity. No doubt. I'm with you on that. You know there was a uh there was a mass shooting. I guess it yeah, I guess that's considered a mass shooting, right? Mass shooting, I think uh f- I think now they counted 14 people were injured. Um, this was in, uh, Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. You hear about that? Um, no. So apparently it's, it's about a, a mass shooting every day. Isn't it? Yeah. It seemed like it. It Nig- seemed like it's getting shot in the city of Atlanta every day. Seemed like, yeah. But I think in this case, um, and that is, that's true. That is very true. But in this case, um, it got a lot of attention because there were a number of people that were shot at one time. There was like from one from what was thought to be one individual at one time, there were at the time they, they listed it as 12 people mm-hmm. were injured in the shooting. Um, then it went up to 13. And as of this, uh, this early this evening, it went up to 14. So, um, but then they say that the, the, the shooter got away. So they didn't catch him. Wait, what? But, yeah. So they say, okay. So in Austin, Texas, they say there was a mass shooting. 12 this is the initial report was in Austin in Austin Texas there was a shooting 12 people got shot and uh the shooter got away then it was like oh 13 people got shot and the shooter got away then today it was like okay well now the count is 14 and we have two suspects where was the shooting at Austin Texas it was in it I'm was in um, where at, they they say it was uh it's what's called the entertainment district oh where 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 of Austin Texas um, and and apparently it was it was very busy during the time that the shooting happened, um, but now they're saying that they apprehended one of the one of the suspects. One is still missing, but they know it was two. But they when when they say suspect, I don't know if that means two people participated or they have two people that they two people that could be considered one of the shooters. One of the two people were the shooters. I don't like, know. Sounds like some bullshit to me, though. Hey, it does. The the part that sounded like bullshit to me was when they were like, oh, 12 people got shot and the guy got away. But, hey, I don't know. I'm assuming. I, I Look, I ain't going to say no more on that. I'm going to leave that shit alone. Niggas out here shooting. They shooting. You see him? Niggas out here shooting. That's like the young kids that were shooting. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Bonnie and Clyde. <clears throat> Where did these motherfuckers come from, though? Where did they come from? So, so the story is the the two kids. It's a a twelve year old boy. Fuck all that. Where did they come from? Florida. No, no, in Florida. Where did oh, they? Oh, um, they were they were they escaped from a a foster home. Okay. So they escaped from a foster home in Orlando, Florida. <clears throat> a twelve year old boy, twelve year old boy, fourteen year old girl. Excuse me. <clears throat> Um. So apparently they escaped from the foster home. My nigga, Is Walter Cronkite looking ass nigga, talk to me. Like you talk to me like you talk for real, nigga. Don't talk to me like a twelve year old boy and a fourteen year old uh, girl. I'm I, I'm I'm talking completely normal. Nigga, these kids in Let's, Orlando, they broke in the house. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't need I don't need a uh, 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 whole synopsis of this. All bitch. right, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
So these two kids broke out the they broke out of the foster home. Indeed. And they broke into a crib. They broke into this crib. Apparently the crib had a shitload of guns in there. Apparently. I don't know what they was doing in the crib. Let's talk or about what they were looking for. Only way I believe any of this. Okay. Is that is if this foster home was in the same vicinity of this home and they knew who lived there and they knew what was up. Mm-hmm. They didn't just break into a random house and find a fucking arsenal of guns. I don't believe that. What do, what do you think? What do you think happened? I don't know what happened. They just happened to run into a house and, oh, look at all these guns. I don't I mean, how, did, how did the police get there? I don't have no other explanation. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't have no other explanation for it. I don't know how I don't know why or how they would have found that spot or That's what I'm saying. It has to be it has to be in the same vicinity. Maybe their right. foster home is next door. And they knew who lived there and they bust in there and they, they knew he had guns. But nigga, you break into a house in in let's say it's it's in Orlando, maybe in the suburbs, mm-hmm. maybe it's two stories. Mm-hmm. Got a pool in the back with the with the with the screen covering over it. Okay. You break into the I house. I see a lot of those. Seen a lot of those. And that's all you can find. And you straight find the guns. None of them locked up or nothing. So anyway, you find the guns and however the police get there, the police get there. The police get there. The kids are having a fucking shootout mm-hmm. with the police. Now the thing I saw was the police officer. He got his 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 his, his body cam on his, his body cam. And he's like, this nigga's conflicted. And I understand. Mm-hmm. This I understand. Because this fucking youngster's busting at you. Mm-hmm. I don't know what she had. She had an AK-47. That's what niggas said, but that's not a thing. Niggas don't have AK-47s. What is this, the Soviet Union? No, niggas, niggas don't have AK-47s. Did she have an AR or she had an AK-47? Hey, what I read in the news says she had an AK-47. Okay. She busted in some niggas' house from Serbia Grab the AK forty seven, starts dumping at the police officer. So he at this and and she's handling it, I guess too. Mm-hmm. I guess she's handling it. Right, 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 right. She's letting off. It's not rattling her or nothing. Wait, wait. You know what? I'm sorry. I got it mixed up. The girl had a shotgun. The boy had the AK forty seven. This is even worse. The boy had the AK forty seven, but the girl had the shotgun. And they are handling these firearms with precision. <laughs> Blue <laughs> nigga just dumping <laughs> with precision. This is what we doing. Hey. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know, man. What's up with that? Do boy? you see all the all the? I got many questions about this story. I'm gonna have to research it more. I got so many questions. But then the the, the youngster, come on, dog. She had a shotgun. She had a shotgun. So anyway, the police. And she was, was the me. older one. She was the older one. Yeah, of course. Because so she, she the took one. The lead. She the one who said she was going out like Grand Theft Auto mm-hmm. out this bitch. Police conflicted. So she took the lead. She got popped though. She did. She got popped. That nigga had to give in at some point. It was like, yo, we even. And this is another. I mean, she got a shotgun at some. At some point, she's out of. She's out of rounds. She out of rounds. She got popped. She got. She know in how to arm. fucking reload and everything popped too. In the chest. She must. She must have. Yo. Anyway, I don't know what kind of shotgun was though. It was a double barrel. It don't matter what kind of shotgun. She still had to run out of shells. Yeah, hell yeah, she did. Well, she got popped. She got popped in the arm, popped in the chest. Two times. Initially, initially she was in critical condition. Now she's in stable condition. And I guess at that point, um, you know, I saw them. They they was doing a little. They they was trying to revive her and shit. Oh, come on. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't. Yeah, that that was you know I was all for the body body cam footage. Young boy, after he saw her get popped, it was like, "Eh, you know, game over. I don't want no parts of that. No parts, nigga. Y'all the lives. Hey. No extra men. Ling. <laughs> ling, ling. Let him have it. Ah, oh, fuck that shit, man. There it is. I, I got many. I got I got questions about that story. Well, now you got you you make you got me having questions now. Now I want to know what's up. Nah, I got many questions about that story. When you find them answers, share. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. I don't believe it. Oh man, what you sipping on, man? Some some uh some fancy brown shit. This this nigga uh what you call it? But I ain't drinking no more. I can't afford this shit. I can't afford this Remy. 
I can't afford it either. I really ain't supposed to be drinking, but hey, we'll see. Nobody knew that until you said it. I hope y'all know how to. Uh, nobody knew that until you said it. Nobody knew you was drinking. Address seizures. And nobody knew you was not supposed to be drinking. And here you go. Well, it's out there now. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, well. What's good, man? I don't know it, man. What's Ain't up not. with you? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. You know, every, everything's uh, everything's cool. Everything's kosher. Everything is kosher. Yeah. Everything is cool. Yeah. You know. Nah, I don't know. No, you don't know. I knew, I knew that was coming. I don't know. Yeah. That's your answer? Anyway. Uh, okay, that's your answer. That's your answer. Yeah. Now, I will say this, to say this. If another nigga texts me or send me a message <clears throat> talking about, oh, man, y'all be doing Will so wrong. Word. <laughs> People be doing that shit? Yeah. Uh, why y'all be doing Will? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Damn. Yeah, y'all niggas do be doing me wrong. Though. This is how you feel? Yeah, y'all niggas be doing me wrong. Take take this moment to address the situation. No, nah, I'm fucking around. I'm good. I'm good, man. You just said niggas be doing you wrong. No, nah, I was. I'm just playing into the what you just said. I'm good. That's all you got for it. Yeah. That's it, man. Ginger ale. She's like talking to this wall. This is what you're going to do to me? I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't got nothing else. That's all I got. Shorty said, matter of fact, no. Ashley hit me and said. Uh, Who did? Something that's not important. Okay. I thought you said a name. I did. Oh, oh about the, the Fashion Nova shit. That shit, though, I thought was. <laughs> I thought the Fashion Nova shit was funny. That shit wasn't funny. Why not? Where you shop? <laughs> I don't know where to shop, man. I don't know how to shop. I need some clothes, but I don't know where to shop. <laughs> I'm trying to take advice. I'm trying to, I'm looking for, I'm seeking advice on where to shop. I got to oh. buy myself some shit. The shit I got right now, I, I mean, everything I have is like from the 90s. Yeah, yeah. And I look like a '90s nigga, and I'm old now. I can't wear that same '90s <laughs> shit. I don't want to be walking around with the, with the, 45 years old with some a whole bunch of baggy shit. Uh, I feel you. But I don't want to wear no tight jeans either. I just need to tone it down a little. Define bit. Define tight jeans. I don't need the jeans to be touching. I don't need them to be hugging my skin. I just don't need my shit to be baggy. I need to find a middle point. There's no. There's no middle point. They're going to be touching your skin or you're going to be wearing fucking Jinko jeans. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? It's one or the other. I want to look my age, man. I want to look my age. Are these tight jeans? No, I see them all right. But they're but they're touching my skin. Those are, it, they're not hugging your skin. I said hugging your skin. Everything you wear is going to touch your skin. See, those are all right. What kind of jeans are those? These are Levi's, sir. Oh, I got on Levi's, too, and my shit's too baggy. My shit like some... When did you buy those Levi's? Um, gee, probably about two years ago. Which Levi's are they? I think they five fifty. And what does that mean? Like what? I think five five fifty is um. They're made similar to the five hundred one. They're like, psh, damn. I don't want to say straight leg because I don't look for straight leg jeans, but they're they're. I think they're loose fitting. They're called loose fitting jeans. Well, there you go, right there. Let's start there. Yeah, but I don't want it to be that loose fitting. They're loose, but I don't want to be but that. That's, loose. Let's start there. You said that's what you don't want, but or, then you buy it. Or maybe it's maybe it's just Levi's. Maybe Levi's just don't fit right on me no more. No, you're buying the wrong Levi's. <laughs> <laughs> let's start. Let's start there. But hand claps for you, like yo, I don't want to, you know. To all my stuck in the nineties niggas. Stuck I'm, in the nineties niggas. I'm I'm I'm, ve- I'm still very stuck in the nineties though. I mean, dress wise, I'm trying to get out of that, but everything else, I'm still stuck in the '90s. Man. Very much, yes, you are. Oh, you? How you figure that? 
I mean, I know I am, but how do you know that? Because that's all you fucking listen to. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. On an old nigga with a jam sport on. Hey, you heard this new? Nah, nigga, I'm out here listening to this Black Moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Nah, this new Smith & Wesson. Yeah. I feel you. There's more shit, though. There's a lot of new shit. That new Smith & Wesson is dope, though. I mean, the latest Smith & Wesson. That ain't 90 that, shit. That that's... shit came out like three years ago. How was that new Smith & Wesson? That shit came out last year. Came out like three years ago. All right, well. So many other things came out since then. What's the last new shit you listened to? Uh, Sky Zoo. What's the last new shit you listened to? <laughs> Aside from Sky Zoo, uh, what did I listen to? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know I listened to some, some shit after I listened to Nas. I listened to Nas joint that I didn't care too much for. It's all right. It's all right now. Mm. Um, I don't know. I can't remember that. Nothing really grasped me like that. Stuck in the 90s, niggas. Yeah, that's me. There's so much new shit that came out. If Even if you stuck in the 90s, nigga, you, you had a new DMX album came out. I ain't heard that yet. That's that's on you. You don't you don't fuck with uh, Griselda, West Side Gun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with them, yeah. Fucking Matt Comey just dropped a new joint. I don't like him. Wow. Yeah, I don't like Matt Comey. I, maybe I need to listen to that nigga again. That nigga's trash to me. I like Lyric Jones shit. And, and that came out a while ago. We, I knew we, you was are, we say already that. discussed that. All right, I knew you was going to say that. Yeah, All right. we already discussed that. And she just had a birthday. Happy birthday, uh, Lyric. She sure Lyric did. Jones. She was out there doing it. Out there in, what, Miami, I think? So I this, all, this is all you listen to? Yeah, man. Yep. I listen to a lot of um, a lot of African music. <coughs> <laughs> nigga sound like T bars. Africa is far. What kind of African music, nigga? I mean, from all over. I mean, there's um, I, I, there's, there's there's so that's a I, a broad description. What okay. is African music? Okay, I listen to um some some uh, uh acoustic Cape Verdean music. Mm-hmm. Um. And some uh, some of the popular uh, music from Angola. Okay. And, and that's all you listen to. I just that. pretty much do Pandora. Let them choose what I'm listening that to. That 90s hip hop. Yep. You had so many albums that came out, dog. Uh, Sky Zoo, as you said. Mm-hmm. That you didn't acknowledge. Uh, I didn't listen to it. Shout out to AJ uh, on the boards. I think AJ mixed some joints on there. It's not the whole thing. Okay. So shout out to AJ. Migos dropped a new project. Um, I don't listen to a few, a few of the joints. Kodak Black dropped a new project. Wah, wah. Did you listen to any of them? Uh, yeah, I listened to some of Kodak Black joint. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it was very difficult to listen to. And why is that? In my opinion, <clears throat> I think it's trash. Mm. Is he? Mm-hmm. You got you got to listen to yourself, dog. You got to listen to yourself. All right, what else so you, you got? got? You got that nigga, uh, Lloyd Banks, dropped a new joint. Okay, and I, now I heard that was dope. I ain't peeped that joint myself, yeah. but I heard it was dope. I'm going to check that out on the way to the crib. Uh, Raheem Devon and Apollo Brown. What? Okay. okay. The nigga, uh, Uptown, Uptown XO. All right, all right. Episode 47 is coming to a close. We're going to wrap this shit up. Uh, B. Price, where can they find you at? Uh yeah, you find me anywhere, man. Google me. B price nine five four. No doubt. Hey, uh me, you can find me on Instagram, Will underscore Walker underscore zero zero seven. You can also find me at the owners box underscore podcast. Um I'm on Clubhouse. I ain't that active, but you know, you can find me there at Will underscore Walker underscore zero zero seven. You can also find me on Cookout. I ain't that active there either, but at Will W I L L and the number seven. I right. We out of here. My nigga Sue, shout out to him. He out there doing famous shit. Well, he in the house now, but we rapping. All right, peace.